guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Doctor Who. Gotta love it. So, we have got, from BMM uh, character options, we have got the second Doctor with his TARDIS from the War Games. Um, for those of you who haven't watched games, you really need to get a hold of it somehow and watch it because it is probably one of the best second doctor stories and it's also his last one um the thing that i really love about this is that though it is not a black and white tardis it is a very very dull tardis to kind of mimic that black and white and everything which we'll see when we actually get it out of here so without further ado let's pull it out and take a look right off the bat you can see that it does have a very very dull appearance on there and everything um almost black and white but it is still shaded blue so it's like a very like blacky blue um let's see if we turn on our flash if we can see that color a little bit better as you can see it does definitely look very black and white-ish and i love that because like i mean let's be honest like oh we want our tardises to match our doctors and we got a nice little figure here for the second doctor. I actually don't have too many complaints about that outside of maybe the paint job on the face. Just looking at it right away like that. Like that paint job on the face just, I mean, it's very second doctor, but at the same time, like it's just so undetailed, you know. And we do have a backdrop for the box here and everything so to get these out and everything is actually kind of a pain we've got these uh tape holding it in there but then we also do have these screws holding in the bottom of that tardis so let's go ahead and work on getting that out there you have it we have got our second doctor with his tardis from the war games now one thing that i am kind of confused about on here, it specifically states that this is a non-electronic TARDIS, but it has the same molding as the electronic TARDISes, and even has a battery compartment, but I was unable to actually get this compartment open, but going into reviewing the TARDIS itself and everything, we do have the inside and a nice little door release switch there and right there is where that whole electronic compartment would be as in the electronic TARDIS that they did make for the 13th Doctor um I'm not sure why they wouldn't change the mold if they specifically wanted these not to be electronic I'm not sure if there is electronics in it and I mean it specifically says non-electronic so I mean I don't know, it's just confusing. But as you can see, this is a very dull, 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 like grayish blue, which works so perfectly for this. Now onto the um, figure himself. We have got head articulation, as with most of these guys. And then we, I like the design they got there where he's just got all of the wear and tear and everything. But then he has got his shoulder. He's just up and down. He has no in or out. But he does have that bicep spin there. Let's do Hey guys, see my face. So we have got that. We have got that little uh, bicep twist. We have got our elbow. And then we have got our wrist. Now for me, the War Games was one of the more significant storylines in shaping the way Doctor Who is even today. Like, personally for me, like, I can't think of many times that the Sonic Screwdriver has actually explicitly been shown before the War Games. Uh, I don't know, um, the, a lot of the earlier episodes missing, I could be wrong. But, I mean, like, they should have tossed in a, a Sonic Screwdriver. I mean, like, I mean, especially with for the second Doctor, the second Doctor, I mean, like, just like a little black stick and boom, Sonic Screwdriver, you know? I mean, like, it would have been just a simple thing to throw in there, you know? His was not fancy, his was not, like, extravagant, like, they wouldn't, like, I mean, like, you could psh, little turd in there, you know what I mean? Like, it was like a little, like, pen flashlight and everything. Um, but, 
I don't know. I feel like I'm just a, an accessory would have been nice with this set, you know. And like uh, a lot of these sets don't come with any kind of accessory, just the figure and the TARDIS. And which, of course, we're buying it mainly for the TARDIS because let's be honest, they're not really releasing a whole lot of special figures with these. Like, you know, we kind of mostly have all of these doctors already. I think there's a few that they've done where they've done like a different, like, you know, like, uh, I think they did like McCoy with the hat and McCoy without the hat. And then the same thing with like, uh, Davison and everything. They did one with a hat without a hat and everything, I think. But for me, like the whole reason behind getting this was getting this TARDIS with that like gray blue, like look to it because it just looks amazing. So I want to do a little comparison of the TARDIS to the 13th Dr. Electronic TARDIS just to look at those two for you real quick. Alright, so we have got our TARDISes here, both of them here. They both have the same open and shut doors. Um, with this being an electronic TARDIS, there is a little button on the bottom there with a switch. You switch that on. Every time that button is pushed or released, it will do the tier dematerialization or the materialization sound. So, really cool um, thing that I found. Let's get this back here so you can really see the color difference on them now and everything. Um, obviously, they did do a more accurate one for the era that they were in and everything. So I like that because it is a different design. But for this to still be here, with this being non-electronic, and you can see the electronics through the holes in that and everything. And you can see something in there. I don't think it's electronics. Because this one does feel very light compared to this one. Um, but if you knew what you were doing and had, or even if you wanted to tear apart this one and put it in here, I mean, I'm sure you could easily do that and everything. Because I think they, that entire section there is still hollowed out and everything. So let's just take a quick look here at what we got going on here. Because we have got the same exact little box and inside there. So you could easily swap these out easily so but yeah thank you guys